Virgo. This is Tina with 85th House Project. And this just in. This is where we get all up in other folks' business about love and relationships. Well, we get up in the business with the intent of uh, providing insight in hopefully a useful, loving way. Uh, let me say, Virgo, that this reading is going to um, it's going to be for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising. And if you want to pull together a more complete picture of how things will be looking for you for the month, you can check your Moon or Rising sign if you happen to know what that is. And I want to, how's everybody doing? How was your holiday? Okay, Virgo. I wanted to do these earlier in the morning. It was like I have a, a lot more energy. Um, probably should have checked the planetary hours. And pretty soon, I'm, I'm, I keep saying this, but I am going to start my uh, astrology portion of this. That was how I intended to start my YouTube channel, was with the astrology. And I hadn't done an astrology video yet. So, you know what, Virgo? I think I'm going to start to with the moon. I don't think I'm going to start with the sun signs. I'm going to start with uh, the moon. When the moon does things. If you guys have any suggestions, what do you want to hear? Uh, as far as astrological videos, ast astrology videos, do you guys have any preferences? Give me some suggestions in the comments of what you guys want to know about. Uh, and um, even though I was planning on starting with the moon series, you know, maybe you guys can give me some more exciting suggestions. So, Virgo, let's see what's up. What's going on in love? Okay, the first card we have is the Ten of Wands. So, Virgo, um, some of you probably feel like you've really got a lot going on, some heavy loads. You know, I pulled this corn for Capricorn, which uh, is another, it's an earth sign. I, I call Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns the ultimate provider because you, you're the guys that keep going until you get it done. And I feel like that this is what this is saying. Um, either, Virgo, you're in a relationship where you you got a lot you feel like you got a heavy load to carry but you just keep trudging along you know virgo is dependable and reliable like that um you may be feeling like you know i i've got a job to do i've got a service to provide so no matter how heavy this load is on me i'm gonna keep moving forward yeah this is looking like uh you just continuing to move forward until you get it done, uh, even though the outcome may be a modest outcome. You still got the drive um, to keep going, even though you've got this heavy load on your back. Uh, you know what, though? Virgo, even though you've got this heavy load on your back, I do see a little bit of uh, support. It may not be a balanced type of support, but I do feel like you you do have some sort of support in this. So let's see what, what the second card is. We can get some ideas of what this is about. Okay. The Knight of Cups. So some of you Virgos may be dealing with uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You know, and this person is, uh, you know, the knights are all or nothing. But I feel like this knight is probably more steady and a little more controlled emotionally. Maybe than some of the knight of cups in the other decks. He's still moving along. But I, I don't feel like, you know, 
he's as extreme as some of the other knights. He or she. Now, what I'm feeling like, Virgo, is this may be somebody, this Cancer, Scorpio, or uh, Pisces, that you may be trying to get to. You may be trying to get, you may be putting a lot of work into trying to get to this person. But I'm feeling like, The harder you try, it's like you, you, you almost catch up to them, but it's like they're all, you feel like they're always one step ahead of you or uh, just out of reach. But you keep going, this, you, you're, you're putting your energy into this, you're giving it all you got. But it seems like this person is just out of reach. And what I'm feeling like is this is somebody who uh, is probably very spiritual and intuitive. And this is somebody I feel like that you may have been watching grow in their spirituality and, you know, in how they their perception of life. But it's kind of like the more work you put into it, it seems like the further they get ahead of you. Okay. Let's see what else is going on. Okay, Virgo. Well, the next card that we have there is the Three of Wands reversed. And you can see upright, you know, he, he's standing in a place where, I think this is a situation where upright, you know, he already has some of the resources. He has the passion, um, but there's still work to be done. And he's willing to do the work. There's still mountains to climb. Um, in the reverse though, Virgo, I'm feeling like still, I'm almost feeling like you're spinning your wheels in the relationship. You're really trying to move forward. But it's like the work that you're putting in to the relationship or trying to get to this relationship because I'm feeling like some of you Virgos are already in this relationship. But even though you're in the relationship, this person who you're in it with is like just out of reach emotionally. And I feel like they feel like you're not doing enough. <laughs> even though you've already got this heavy load even though you are trudging along, I feel like that this person is looking at the situation like you're not doing enough. And Virgo, it's like you already have such a load on your back that this three of wands reverse is I kind of feel like it's asking you not to create any new work for yourself. You've got enough going on chasing this person down. And I don't I don't mean I don't want to sound it's not like you're you're desperate. I'm not saying that. Um but I kind of feel like with all you've already got going on and this heavy load that you've got on you and you still keep going but this person is is looking at it as if you're not doing enough you're only human virgo The energy and the passion that you have 
some of you Virgos may be feeling the green-eyed monster poke up. You know, try not to uh, give in to any jealousy that may be coming up for you. Um, now, now, this is not saying for all Virgos, but it... it Jealousy or possessiveness, you know, because I kind of what I'm feeling like is that the further that this person gets away from you uh, emotionally, the more you're trying to hold on. Yeah. Um. I'm, I, I just get the impression that as of right now, no matter how much work that you're putting in, you're not getting the communication, um, no matter how much work you put into it, it's not enough. I feel like you are not necessarily getting the rewards for your effort and your drive and your consistency and your passion. Okay, let's go ahead and pull one more card. Um, one of, so, uh, uh, somebody commented and said, well, why don't you pull clarifiers? I do from time to time, but I was telling her that I tried to my goal was to keep these videos under 10 minutes because I didn't want to bore you guys with uh, But, you know, if you guys want to hear more, I'm happy to do that. So, let's see if we can make anything else out of this story. If we can come up with anything else. Okay, we had a popper. And, okay. It's the justice card reverse. For some of you Virgos, I am feeling like um, I'm feeling like some of you Virgos and 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 and, and uh, some of you in relationships are are wanting you're wanting some passion. And you are feeling like you are not getting your just due. Like some of you may not be uh, getting intimacy and sex. Uh, there's not a balance. And I think I said this before. Uh, right now, whatever it is that you are trying to put out there you're not reaping the reward for it there's not um, something is, is is just going on that's just really not fair it's not balanced it's not even and I'm feeling like Virgo you probably need to take a moment to step back and lighten the load and see this situation for what it is because you're just going to break yourself down. This back breaking work that seems to be getting you nowhere with this person, you know, just like I said, no, you feel like you can't get across to the promised land to, uh, you feel like you can't, there, there's no bridge for you to cross to this person, I feel like. And I'm thinking that it's really not fair to you, Virgo. You are looking for some concrete results out of what you are putting into this. And I think that this applies for those of you who are in a relationship and those of you who are pursuing a relationship. Um, you're not getting the desired results. She's got a sword in her hand, and so uh, 
grab my reading glasses and she's got so again there's a scale in her hand I don't know how well you can see this upright there's a little scale there she's got a sword so I'm feeling like in the reverse the communication is limited again it's not balanced it's not even you are putting more into this than the other person you feel like for those of you that are already in a relationship you're feeling like all of the roots that you planted or that you've tried to plant is just now being uprooted. Well, that's the way I see it, Virgo. Hmm. Okay, Virgo, that is the way I see it. If any of you would like to uh, book a personal reading with me, you can contact me at Tina at 85th House Vibrations dot net. Uh, guys, I love it if you follow me on Twitter at 855 EIGHT, the number 5 VIBE. I also have a Facebook page where you know I post about moon transits in the room of the day. Um, some you know my little personal funny things this that and the other um Virgo I'm sorry I had to pause the video my kid came in I think I was wrapping it up um and I was saying follow me on Facebook okay yeah I was saying follow me on Facebook um you can look that up 85th house vibrations if you have a notion but thank you guys for tuning in and virgo you know uh good luck sending love light and healing to you and hoping that uh you can uh find success in this situation <laughs>